Hey there, this is Eric Richards. I'm one of the partners with the Alcovey Group, uh, Thompson Street City Homes. And we have our uh, reveal reservation party coming up this Friday the 22nd at South City Kitchen. I wanted to talk to you just briefly about the reservation process. So our party, it's from 11 to 2 at South City Kitchen, then from 2 to 4 we'll move over to our builder's office. We'll have those, uh, uh, those details for you. Um, in the invitation as well. So um, the point of it though is we wanted to give a chance for those people who have a severe uh, significant interest in a lot or two to be able to be there and to, to even mingle and perhaps meet people who have interest in that same lot. So um, it's not designed to be a, a bidding war. There is no, you can't come back and bid to try to, to beat someone else's bid if more than one person wants a lot. Um, our goal though is that if, if more than one person does want a lot, that you would potentially have a chance to connect with that person and to have an opportunity to determine you know, who really has the greatest desire so that instead of it becoming a bidding war, um, someone could perhaps just, just back off and let someone else take a lot. So, so really, that's the goal. It wasn't that you know, we have a price set that we think is acceptable to our whole development, um, but there was really no good way to determine who to give a lot to. You know, it seemed wrong to say, well, just because someone knew about it you know, three months before somebody else, um, that they should somehow have just the only opportunity to get that lot um, because no one put down any cash at this point in time. No one has established that they are first in line. So that's, that's you know, really why we did that. So um, uh, the, the, the way it would go though, just so you understand, let's say there are three parties who all have one lot as their first choice. So we'll just assume that they have their first choice lot and uh, one person uh, puts down the reservation price on that lot and they just say $100,000, no higher bid, just $100,000, they want that lot. The next person wants uh, that lot and they say $150,000. So they, they'd go $50,000 over the reservation price. So that's party B. Party A is 100,000, party B 150,000, and party C uh, will be at 200,000. So at four o'clock, which is the close of uh, reservations that can compete for one lot, um, you know, beyond four o'clock, if a lot doesn't have a reservation, of course, it's easy. You just put in a reservation form and you get it. First come, first serve at that point. But um, when we look at those at four o'clock and we see the 100,000, we would say, oh good, this person has it, $100,000. $100, then we see the $150,000 reservation bid. And now we look at that and we don't say party B has it for 150,000. We say party B has it for 105,000. Only 5,000 more than the other winning bid. So 105 is theirs. Now we see party C and they had 200,000. So party C will actually get it for 155,000 because they had to beat the maximum bid of party B by 5,000. Not 200, but it'd be 155 and it'd be theirs. Now you're not committed. It is a 100% refundable deposit and we have to get to contract. So I don't know if you would fully appreciate this without me going through it, we are the ones at the greatest risk at this point because we are now awarding it to party C who may be the least likely person to go through and get a contract, which is why you'll see in the language, we reserve the right to still give this lot to whoever we choose. It is real estate. So we are not governed in this process. We can do what we want. We'll be transparent and let you see what we're doing, but if we feel strongly that party C is unlikely to get to contract, we might award this to party B regardless. So that is because we are at risk because if we give to party C and we spend 12 weeks and party A and party B go off and buy homes in some other development, then we have just uh, put ourselves at risk and we've lost out in that situation. So that's why we reserve that right. Um, in the end of the day, you know, our goal is that we'll get everyone to contract, but I know that's not the case. That just never happens, and I'm sure it won't happen here. But we're gonna do our best to, uh, to hopefully bring the right group of people who are excited to be here. I, mean, I think it's one of the most incredible developments that you're gonna see. It's the most picturesque uh, part of the Alpha Loop. To me, it's, it's just it's the best. So um, hopefully you'll feel the same. We'll get everyone to contract. You'll all be neighbors who know each other from this event, and um, you know, away we go. All right, thank you so much. I uh, look forward to meeting you on Friday.